Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, or if you have an Instagram account, chances are you probably have seen the challenge that's going around right now called Draw This In Your Style. Now, I think um, Casey Golden just posted a video where she actually started drawing everybody else's style, like she chose a couple of her viewers and her Instagram followers and drew a couple of those, and I thought that was an amazing idea. So so I am not copying her idea. I think we both just had the brilliant idea to share some of the artwork and experiences from the Draw This In Your Style challenge on Instagram. Basically what happens is we draw something or you draw something any artist out there in the Instagram world draws a character, the original OC, they just come up with something, and then you, we challenge you or you challenge us to draw that original character in your own art style, in your own animation style. So I've had so much fun looking at all these different artists and seeing how many people interpret it in their own way. And I mean, it's so much fun. So I decided I was going to do this challenge and it didn't even occur to me until I put up a poll on Instagram and I asked, should I do this? And everybody was so enthusiastic about it that I got over 70 pictures back of my original character as soon as I put out this girl I called her the Neapolitan girl because I just based her off of ice cream because I was like I was looking at my 31 bag and it has ice cream popsicles all over it and I thought well it's summer so I guess I'll base a girl off of ice cream <laughs> and I thought the Neapolitan girl I was blown away with all the amazing art styles I got to see it. And I'd love to go ahead and comment on a couple of those. I went ahead and I included everything that was given to me within a day and a half turnaround. It was just amazing to see so many art styles and how the different coloring and the different lining and the different uses of colors. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's take a look at a couple of these and I'd love to go ahead and talk about them while I'm still watching this. I love this. Look at the shading on that and it's on tan tone. Oh, look at this watercolor, beautiful masterpiece. I love the marker ship penmanship on this piece. And <laughs> as always, Nate, I know him. <laughs> and this is so awesome. She looks like she jumped out of a cartoon show. And I love the simplicity of this. It's beautiful and I love the hair waves. This is so cute, it's so cheapy. And this one just blew me away. Wow, the sparkles. Oh, I love this. I love the enthusiastic look on her face. Like, I can't deal with this. Oh, this is just gorgeous. I loved this one and how the, they redid the hair. That's amazing. Oh, this one was gorgeous. I love the way that she did the shirt. I really, really love this one. Oh, this one was so cute. She looks like she jumped out of a cartoon too. This one's awesome because I love the way that they did the hair in the ice cream. This is just beautiful. I love the digital pieces. Love this one. Casey did awesome. Casey's a student of mine. Oh my goodness. I just love the digital renditions of these. I love this one because she looks like she belongs on like a Coca-Cola magazine. And this one is so good too. <laughs> She's like, don't mess with my ice cream guys. I'm gonna kick your butt. <laughs> I love this because it looks like a chill book illustration in the background and this one looks like it jumped out of right out of Nickelodeon too it looks like a Winx girl and this one is adorable and I love that she included the pencils this one is super good I just oh this one was so simple just a cute little sketch I love it and this one was a cute sketch too and I just love the hair I love how everybody is incorporating the different hair on every single one of these that everyone's doing that fun little ponytail and oh, this gave me so much joy to look at these. This one looks like she's Selena Gomez. I love the realism on it. And I think this is so cute because she's in a romper and I just, that's how I envisioned her. And I love this, this is gorgeous watercolor. And this is so, I love the square background and I love her hair. I'm obsessed with her hair and this is adorable. I love these so much. And this one's just as gorgeous. 
You guys just blow me away. Rachel's another student of mine. I love seeing her branch out of her style and do something of mine. Love this one. Oh my goodness. I, gosh, I'm just going nuts. And I was telling everybody on Instagram how awesome of a job they did. Because every single one of these, as you can see, is completely different. And that's what I like about this challenge is by people who are so worried that they don't have their own art style. Well, the best way to develop an art style is part go on to Instagram and check out a couple of these and try to participate in some of these draw this in your style because if you're drawing something in your style and it's I mean you're kind of using this person's original character as a reference you're the more you copy and you look at references, whether you're looking at a real person from your favorite TV show or you're looking at a famous Disney character, try to like look at the references and see like the shape of the head and what they're wearing and try to do that in your own drawing style. Now it's not exactly copying, but in a way you're looking at it. I find looking at references and copying it in your own style is the way you're going to help yourself find your own art style when it comes to cartooning. That's the best way. I would copy, 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 copy all of these Disney concept sketches and when I realized that the sketches were starting to look a little different from what I was looking at on the other paper and what I was looking in references, references what I was looking at, it started to change and I realized that's me developing my own style. And it just amazed me that I saw all these, you all have your own art style and you all drew it in your own different way. And it completely amazes me how incredible and talented all of you are. It's just wonderful. I will definitely do one of these again. I love being able to show off a lot of your art because you are so incredibly talented. So make sure you follow me on Instagram I'm gonna make sure to do it within the next week. Probably, I'll probably go ahead and post a draw this in your style of another original character, and then I'll make another video of it. Hopefully we can do that as soon as possible. I love this idea. It's an awesome summer trend for Instagram right now. I really hope you will go on there and you will practice drawing other people's original characters in your own art style. And hey, go ahead and give it a try on you putting out your draw this in your own style draw your own original character and i hope that the creative juices get you going and i hope you all have a most wonderful day and i will see you all on instagram and on here have a great weekend don't worry i'll do this again i try to include everybody in this and if not they're all on my story on my instagram i will see you all later have a most wonderful day bye